Today on All Things 80s, we've got some Pez. <laughs> Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now, earlier today I was out at Walgreens and I saw they had this display with Halloween-themed Pez dispensers. And it reminded me that I actually have a very small collection of Pez. So when I got home, went rummaging through in the closet and I found my three sets of Pez, which I'll show you in just a second. But I also got thinking about my time as a child in the 80s, and I only ever had the one Pez dispenser, which I cannot for the life of me identify. I know that the outer casing was blue, the inner sleeve that held the candies was yellow, and I'm thinking it must have been Batman or Donald Duck, but I just cannot remember which it, one it was, which is really frustrating me. Now, quickly show you my Pez collection, which I completely forgot I had. First up are these Kiss uh, Pez, which I think are pretty cool. It's a nice, nice tin, and on the back there we got the, the image. And the funny thing is, um, typically when uh, Kiss do something, you know, not musically themed. I'm not talking about records or CDs, but when it comes to figurines and things, normally when it comes to the Catman and the Spaceman, they tend to get molded on the appearance of uh, Peter Chris and Ace Frehley. But in this instance, these pairs, there's no question that that is Eric Singer and Tommy Thayer, which I think is quite funny. So, uh, yeah, this is dated. I saw it earlier. Uh, uh, I saw it somewhere. What the hell? Yeah, 2012. Um, I actually think I got this at Walgreens, but don't quote me on that. The other one I have is uh, Scooby-Doo. And I think I got this for Christmas a few years ago. This one is just a uh, cheapy cardboard box, but it's still quite cool. And I certainly was a big fan of Scooby-Doo as a child. And this last one, I have no recollection of getting this at all. Star Wars. But they're all kind of, you know, clear plastic that's been used for that's Lord Vader, R2-D2, C-3PO and Yoda. Um, I don't know if anyone else out there has this. Uh, I don't know what... There's no date on it. I don't think... Uh, no, I'm not seeing a date, and I just, I have it. I don't remember getting this. I don't know where it came from. But yeah, so that's my Star Wars Pez. So on the theme of Star Wars Pez, I thought to myself, might be interesting to see what other Star Wars Pez items there are. And as usual, when I'm looking down the list, Something jumps out in me that I have to share with you people. Uh, once again, another ridiculous listing. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this absolute nonsense that's for sale on eBay. Okay, so here we go. Chewbacca Pez that was wrongly packaged in Disney Princess packaging can be yours for $4,500. And as we can see, it's just your bog standard Chewbacca Pez dispenser, which has been sealed incorrectly onto the Disney Princess card. There's absolutely nothing special about this whatsoever, but the description was quite interesting. It says, this is a non-tampered with misprinted Pez dispenser. It's brand new and highly rare. Star Wars Chewbacca is the character in the packaging, but it's a misprinted and labelled as the Disney Princess Collection. Well, first of all, it's not misprinted. This is the correct card for Disney Princess. It's just that the Chewbacca has been wrongly adhered to this card. So that's four and a half thousand dollars. I thought, okay, if I want this Chewbacca Pez, what's the cheapest I can get one for? And lo and behold, $2.99 will get me the Chewbacca Pez in the correct Disney Star Wars packaging. 
And uh, actually, if I'm being honest, the flavors with uh, the Chewbacca and the Star Wars packet are uh, was that cherry, lemon, and orange, whereas this one was grape, cherry, and strawberry. So I guess if you're a big fan of grape, cherry, and strawberry, maybe the four and a half grand is a good deal. I don't know. But anyway, this is another of these ridiculous listings that I keep finding. And trust me, I'm not going out of my way to look for these. They just pop up when I do searches. So four and a half grand will get you this wonderful, wrongly packaged Chewbacca Pez dispenser. So what do you think? Four and a half grand for a Chewbacca Pez that's inside a Disney princess case? I don't know what goes through some people's heads when they're doing these listings, but... Uh, in my opinion, surely it's worth even less than retail because it's a blatant mistake. It's not a rare, unique one-off piece, but anyway, four and a half grand and that Pez can be yours. So let me know in the comments below, do you have any Pez? What's your favorite Pez? Should I collect more Pez? Let me know. And thank you all for watching. Special thanks to the Patreons. Please like the video, please subscribe, and as always, Stay tuned for more videos from all things 80s.